guys! Today we're going to show you how to organize your collection of North Saharan desert beetles. Oh, sorry. Come on. Hello? Who is this? Oh, you're in Denmark? Who is it? You'll be here in 15 minutes? Oh, n no, of course. Yeah. Let's see you then. Change your plans, Bene. We're going to show you how to clean for guests in 15 minutes. happened to us before and I'm sure it's happened to you too. You get that phone call and someone's like, hey, we'll be there in 10 minutes. And you look around like, of course you are. Hardly a Pinterest catalog. Is there <laughs> such a thing? There is not such a thing. <laughs> we should do that. <laughs> but actually, I mean, does that phase you? Not so much because no. we have three kids here and we live here. So it's not perfect at all times, but it can get that way pretty fast. We're going to take you around our house and show you how. But before we head downstairs, I want to tell you that this here is also a collaboration with Sarah over at Small Changes. Hi guys, I'm Sarah from Small Changes and we are a minimalist family who is living big with less. We post videos about minimalism and frugal living. So if that's something you're interested in, we'd love it if you'd come over and check it out. If you do come over, please leave a little heart icon down in the comments so I know you guys came for Real Organized. And Sarah's also doing a video today about how to clean for guests on a short notice. We'll leave a link in the description, so make sure after watching this video that you go over to her channel and watch that video as well. If we were actually having guests come over in 15 minutes, I wouldn't have time to deep clean the entire house. So I would focus on those areas that the guests would actually see, which would be the entryway, the bathroom behind me, and the sitting room. So before I dig in and start cleaning, I'm gonna do a quick status check of the whole house so I know where to start. And I will join you. And I think we should start in the kids' room, but... This video is about how to clean for guests on a short notice. So the kids' room is really not bad. Yeah, there are a few things on the desk and on the floor, but I'm not gonna stress over that. No, it's not really a priority when you're having guests over, unless those guests have kids, and then they're gonna make a mess anyways. <laughs> but if it wasn't any worse, we would just close the door. Here we have our drop-off stone. We'll bring those things downstairs next time we go downstairs. Yep. In the bathroom, uh, we've got a couple of towels, uh, Marcus's swim clothes, and then it's just like general wiping off of stuff that we need to do, but all in all, not too bad. No. Heading downstairs, we should probably vacuum these stairs. Yeah, and then we've got that cupboard <laughs> down there, which is not closing, so we kind of want to look into that. And then the car seat, that needs to go upstairs. And then you have this camera bag that's out for some reason. <laughs> Tripods, light stands, very meta. Very. Got some coats hanging, and then looking into the kitchen. Again, not a priority, but it's really not that bad. It's actually quite good. Yeah, there's a bottle there and those carrots in the sink. We don't have garbage disposals in Denmark, so we have to put those in the trash ourselves. Yeah, and we'll put that piece of paper away because <laughs> that has a home somewhere else. That's the door down to the basement. We're not going to go down there. We're not going to let our guests down there either, but... We are going to let them into the sitting room though. And here we have a few things like a deck of cards and some brushes and, and toys. We'll pick all that up and wipe down some surfaces. But other than that, it looks pretty nice. And actually, most of these things have a home within this living room, dining room space. So it won't take very long to put these away. Now we've got a bunch of systems in place that help us make it so that in these situations, it's really easy to tidy up before we can actually go ahead and clean. And for more information on that, you can head to our website, realorganized.net and pick up our free printable to help you set up similar systems in your home. When the guests come in, we wanna make sure they have a place to hang their coat and it is not all occupied with our stuff. We also don't want them to trip over any shoes or bags that could be on the floor. So I'm gonna grab a few of these coats and put them in the basement where we have a coat overflow. And while I do that, Bene, you're gonna vacuum because it needs it. Oh yeah. So this is what this looks like. Uh, we need to take the winter stuff downstairs and bring up the summer stuff and then we'll reorganize the whole thing. Um, I guess these are the remnants of, of a long Scandinavian winter. Not a priority right now. What we'll do is just take this here, little thing here, and tuck it away and then it's your clothes and everybody's happy. The coats are tucked away in the basement now, and the floor here looks great. Thanks, Ben. You're welcome. Also, there are no shoes or bags on the floor, mainly because the kids are at school and they're wearing their shoes and their bags. But even when they come home, they won't put them on the floor. We used to have that problem, but then we got this here, which is just a simple door hanging solution. 
but we put our shoes in here and so do the kids further down. So when they come home, they put them in here, we close the door, and you can't see any of our shoes. It's great. So this whole room here only took like three minutes to do. Now we're gonna move on into the living room. There's not a lot of stuff to pick up here. We could probably do that in a couple of minutes before we do the actual cleaning and our fake guests show up. Um, the reason that it doesn't take very long to pick up is because most of the stuff that's in the living room right now actually belongs in the living room and has a very clearly designated home. So it really is just, you know, pick it up and, and put it away and then we can start vacuuming the floors or wiping off some of the surfaces. Our house definitely didn't always used to be like this. Uh, and I think it's just an iterative process. You know, you look at your living room or any other space in the house and think of, hey, what systems could we put into play so that it makes it easier for us to keep things picked up and tidy on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's start picking things up before our fake guests arrive. We got the idea for this basket a couple weeks ago when we were visiting Binna's sister in England. And it's not really a toy basket where we keep the toys permanently because all the kids' toys have homes upstairs. But the two oldest, they're pretty good at taking their toys upstairs, but not Lucas. He places them here and then he leaves them. So we have this basket where we put the toys in and then whenever it fills up, we take him upstairs and put him away. Our TV always has fingerprints on it for some reason, so we keep optical wipes in the drawer underneath the TV at all times for a quick wipe down. Done! And it only took us about an hour. But it's amazing how much faster you can make things look presentable if you're not making a video at the same time. So I'm thinking maybe five to seven minutes under normal circumstances. What are your go-to areas when you've got guests coming over on a short notice? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure you like this video and subscribe, click that bell icon to get notifications, and then we will embark together on future adventures. There's not a whole lot of tidying up that needs to be done here in the bathroom. It's really just the towel here. Every kid has their own spot for their towel. So it's just putting it right back to where it's supposed to be. And then also, Marcus left his swim clothes here. We have a lot of systems in place and one of them is for him to put his swim clothes up and then take it down when it's dry. And he got it halfway there, which is good. But he just needs to take it and put it back in his bag now that it's dry. Um, other than that, there really isn't any other tidying up needs to get done. So it's just cleaning it now. When I don't have a lot of time to clean, I don't want to be wasting time running up and down the stairs looking for cleaning supplies. So, we keep all the cleaning supplies and cloths that we need to clean the bathroom in the bathroom. So it's just grabbing what you need and then you can start cleaning. Our bathroom now looks really nice, and really our whole house looks nice. So when guests come in, they'll think that our place always looks like this. But it doesn't, because we have kids and we're not perfect. But if you want an extra little tip, then have a scented candle lit in your bathroom. I first noticed this right after Ben and I got married. I went to his sister's house, and I saw that she had a scented candle lit in her bathroom. And I remember thinking, she's everything I want to be in life. So if you have 30 seconds to spare, then light a scented candle, because nothing says domestic goddess like having a scented candle lit in your bathroom. I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're pretty much ready for our fake guest now. Hi. Hello! We keep optical vibes. Vibes? I heard that. Keeps the optical vibes. <laughs> okay, I did it again. Close to the TV. <laughs> it's really annoying, but we keep optical vibes in the drawer. <laughs> again. Uh, did I? Yeah. Wipes? So we keep optical vibes. 